We are in the midst of one of the greatest opportunities to create generational wealth in our lifetime. I'm buying this hotel. And no one is talking about it. So here I am, talking about it. Today we're gonna to be talking about AI and the opportunity that it presents you to start making a lot of money. However, while there is a lot of surface level information out there, AI tools, AI tools, these five AI tools, AI is just absolutely everywhere right now. Beneath it lies a golden opportunity a generational wealth opportunity. Now you take a look at guys like Alex Becker, who sold his software Hyros for over a hundred million dollars. Or guys like Iman Gatsi, who don't even run an agency anymore and is getting into SaaS as well. And that's what we're gonna be covering today. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now there are two separate business models that I wanna cover in this video. They're pretty similar, but there are some nuances that make them a little bit different in terms of what you wanna pursue. Our first business model is going to be a DFY B2B AI consulting firm. So DFY means done for you. B2B means business to business. Essentially what this means is helping businesses identify their inefficiencies and then building them custom solutions, preferably using AI, to help them deal with those inefficiencies so that they can achieve better results, increase revenue, save money, maybe reduce the number of hires, basically lean down their business and increase revenue, reduce overhead, all of that stuff. Now, the easiest example I can give you with this is with chatbots. There are so many examples I can use chatbots for, but how about I give you a real world example? Now, a good friend of mine, Blake, is in the process of building a chatbot for a tattoo parlor. Now, this thing essentially allowed customers to describe exactly the type of tattoo that they wanted. They were able to book appointments directly with the bot instead of having to call in. And they were even able to upload photos of their tattoo inspirations. And then the bot would assign a team member that it think fit the profile best. And it would do it just like any other service rep would without them even having any idea it was a bot, which of course is extremely powerful to take the place of someone that you don't need to pay. You just have the bot that runs on autopilot. Now keep in mind, this is just an example with chatbots. You don't even have to do chatbots. Maybe you go into an agency and build them a custom email software that generates AI personalized first lines or helps them generate pitches for their cold email. Possibilities are genuinely limitless. But with that, I know there are a few questions that you wanna ask. How much do I charge? Well, with this, you have three different options. The first payment model is equity, meaning you take a percentage of the business that you generate. Let's just say you start working with a big company that's making a million dollars a month and you generate them an extra 50K a month in revenue from the tool that you create. You can ask them for 30% equity in that tool and that's an extra 15K a month in the bag for you. Now second, you've got MRR, meaning you charge them a set fee per month to keep on using the tool. And think about it again, if you're generating them an extra 50K a month, they're not gonna have any problem paying you five or 10K a month MRR just to keep the tool running. Now finally, you can just do an upfront payment. Now this one's less effective in my opinion upfront, but but you don't have to deal with the client and you can take a lot more money if you're charging up front. I'm talking $25,000, $50,000, especially if you're dealing with big global conglomerates and like bigger businesses that actually have revenue. With a lot of these business models, you're not gonna wanna approach a business that's doing you know, like 100K a year because that's not gonna be profitable for you. Now onto the second question, what if you're not a developer? That's okay, I'm not a developer either, I suck ass. Now you can either take the time to get proficient at developing by learning no-code softwares like Bubble or you can learn to code, which in my opinion would be irrelevant in a few years, or you can outsource the work, whether that's to a friend or a business partner or you just hire someone to build it for you. Of course, start building tools that you use yourself. Now these can be super, phenomenal case studies when it comes to landing that first client. Finally, just become extremely proficient at the craft. Your first software is going to be ass. I'm sorry to tell you, it's just not going to be good. But as you keep building and keep inventing things, get creative, you're going to do just fine. Now we have our second business model, which is a DIY software model. Now this one is arguably harder, but you have more independence and control and you're not dealing with clients and stuff like that. And it's pretty much just starting a SaaS company yourself, building a software to release and market. Now this is going to be your highest leverage opportunity when it comes to making some serious long-term cash. But with that being said, it can also be risky. Essentially very boiled down. It works like this. First and foremost, you find a problem within a niche. Let's just say SEO for this example. Second, you develop a software to solve that problem. Third, you market it and gain users, usually charging them a monthly fee, three separate plans, you know, your cheaper plan that has these features, middle plan that has these features, and then your highest plan that has these features. And then eventually, once it grows big enough, 
you sell it to someone else. This is what's known as an exit in the software e-commerce world. You're exiting the business and you're selling it to someone else. It's very simple in concept, but that does not mean that it's easy. But like I said, a real life example is the legend, Alex Becker himself. Let's talk about it. Now, essentially what Hyros does is track your marketing and your ads and then uses AI powered solutions to help you increase your ad spend then just gives you suggestions on where you could be improving. If I scroll down and actually look at my report, there was over 20 22 high ticket sales from this funnel. And again, Google did not catch a sale. It told me in fact to turn it off. It's very simple in concept, but it's incredibly effective and there are very few solutions like it. So over the years, he built it up and eventually exited for $100 million. Just to give an example of my own, so you guys know I'm not spouting doo-doo, a group of friends of mine and I are developing a software called Pegasus UGC. Now this software is for UGC creators specifically and helps them land more clients. It generates email pitches using AI. They can track clients and revenue. They can manage video scripts. Basically, it goes on and on. This isn't to plug it and to brag, but to tell you that it's genuinely accessible to anybody, including you. So how do you get started? Your actionable steps are learn to develop or find someone who can, just like our last business model. Your second problem is to identify a problem within a niche and come up with some ideas for software that you think can solve that problem. Dating app for kids? What the f***? did you just say to me? 17 and below only are allowed on. And once you've got an idea, you start building and develop an MVP, which means a minimum viable product. This is basically the most bare bones version of your software that does its job. It doesn't have to look pretty. It doesn't have to look beautiful. It's going to be super ugly. But as long as you have something that's kind of a proof of concept, if that makes sense. Now you can start marketing it organically on platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and Facebook. And then you can also offer discounts to UGC creators who can make content for you or offer discounts to businesses that come onto the platform. There are lots of things you can do. I'll talk about marketing in another video, but that should give you some ideas. Okay, so I know I covered a lot in today's video. I might just have to make another video. If that's something you guys would like to see, let me know down in the comments below and let me know what questions you have. I'm more than happy to answer them. All this information will be in the description as well. I tried to go into as much detail as I could. If you're looking to stay updated with all things AI, don't be afraid to sign up for my newsletter. It will be down in the description below. When you sign up, you're essentially going to be getting three things for free. First and foremost, you're gonna be getting access to my personal AI toolkit that consists of well over 100 tools that are actually useful, not just some GPT spouted bullcrap. And then you'll also be getting access to my $100 a day side hustle video. It's here on YouTube, but it's unlisted. Only those who have the link can get access. And then third, you'll be getting more Zorro. So that's pretty cool. And if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another upload. With that being said, I will see you guys later. Deuces.